Hello and welcome to Trains in Viatic and we're actually up in Viatic today. Uh, in today's video I'll be fitting some of these to the layout. So I'll be going just behind you. This is going to be a bit on my desk, bit up here. So now for the titles. Here we are up on the layout and you can see the area that I'm working on today. A uh, few, few bits of prep I have already done. I got this big long piece of wood and I got the retaining walls. So what I need to do is put some cardboard paper on that which will go downstairs for, put a few bits to lift that up underneath and bring it forward slightly and then just glue everything in place this will then lead on to me being able to get scenery work done up there and that's what's going on so i'll now take you down to my desk so we're down on my editing desk because my modeling desk isn't large enough for this project and you can see i've put screws in this that's because this piece of wood need to be uh, two and a half centimetres tall for it to actually do the job. So by putting screws on it, it go and give me a nice level base which I can adjust as needed. So I got screws throughout and then I got holes on the other side for screws on the other side. So. This should give me the adjustment I need. So the next thing I need to do is cut some card to stick along here at two and a half centimetres so that this look like brick. So for this bit of a project I'll be using this uh, Metcalf Engineering Blue Brick Builder Sheet. So I'll take this out and then cut it into one and a half centimetre strips and then fit it to this board. I now have enough strips cut. I have just folded this one around and then just fold it on itself. And then that will be glued in place like that. Then I'll just keep on placing them one after another and then we can take it up into the to see how it fits. One nice thing with this system is I'll be able to adjust it to make sure that everything is nice and flat on the layout. As I have four screws underneath where about the main holding down screw will be, so I'll have a bit of adjustment there. And then we'll have some fake tails along there, and then for the retaining wall. Okay. I'll now quickly freehold the camera, and you can see that this looked pretty good on here and it just needs to go over there. So I'll put you just over there and then you can see me fitting it. Thank you. 
I'm going to glue the retaining walls in off camera but that's already started to make a difference you can see that I was giving for a wagon that's going to, one of the wagons that's going to run along there a quick test run just to make sure it cleared everything and over the next few days I'll just carry on building this up so thank you for watching make sure to like subscribe and comment and I'll see you all next time thank you very much Richard